Hello and welcome to this AVLAN review of the Denon and DBT3313 Blu-ray player. We're going to talk to you about the build quality of this unit, its features, its picture and sound quality and show you its setup menus and networking. So the DBT3313 from Denon is a universal player and, and, and by that they mean that it will play an awful lot of different discs, so SACD, DVD audio, CDs, Blu-rays, DVDs. Uh, here we also make it multi-region for DVD and there is also the ability to make it uh, multi-region for Blu-ray as well, which is uh, one of the first Denon players that can do that. It's a transport, so it doesn't have any analog outputs, it just has HDMI apart from two audio. Uh, analog output. So it's designed to be hooked up directly to an AV amplifier and you use the sound uh, from your AV amp or your television. It's got control, it can be controlled by Denon's um, uh, remote control app, uh, Android or uh, Apple iOS app, but only if you use it with a Denon amp that's compatible. It won't just do it over uh, the network, uh, unfortunately. Now from networking it does play an awful lot of different video formats as well. Um, and it'll even do 1080p 24 frames per second from, say, a copied Blu-ray or something like that uh, across the network or off a USB stick. Now, if there's the front USB input there, and you can plug um, you can plug uh, something like a, a a big, you know, sort of capacity USB stick or something like that into the front or a hard drive and actually play directly back from that. It will pass through uh, Dolby True HD and DTS Master Audio, and it's DLNA compliant. And it has twin HDMI outputs, and the idea for that is you can have, if you've not got a 3D HDMI compatible uh, amplifier, you can hook one up to your amplifier for the sound, and one straight to your television or projector that's 3D compatible. So you see the tray on this, this is better than on the cheaper model, it's a better tray, it's like a, a rubbery feel to the tray, it's like a soft uh, feel. The front fascia is aluminium, which are on the cheaper 1713, it's plastic. And generally the build quality is a lot better, it's a lot heavier uh, than the cheaper model. You can see here the load time as well is very quick. From putting the disc in and hitting play, it's almost, you know, it starts in just a couple of seconds. This is the matching AVR3313. And this, the 3313 and the, the amplifier above, which is the 4520, both have Denon Link HD. And what this does is it links the uh, clocks uh, between the two products so that uh, when you're playing back SCD, DVD audio, or True HD, it, it, only use, it only uses the one clock. Although the audio is still sent down the HDMI, it means that the, the, there's, there's very low levels of jitter, so timing errors between the two. This is the back panel. You can see the Denon Link HD, the networking sockets, the analog outputs, the twin. Uh, HDMI's and you also have a remote control in and out for infrared. Now we're going to show you under the lid of the Denon DBT3313 and show you what components it's got inside. So here we see compared to the 1713. The mechanism is different, it has a has an extra shielding around it and it also has the RS232 connection on it and infrared. This this is the better sort of clamp around it so it's quieter than the cheaper model. There's no, uh, there's very little noise from it. Uh, from the actual disc noise. There's, it's a fanless design, there's no fans in here at all, so it does run exceptionally quiet compared to previous players. That's the power supply there. That board at the back there, that controls the RS-232 port and the infrared in and out, um, which isn't present on the cheaper machine. This is the audio output board, which is better than on the cheaper machine, and then the video board is actually improved as well. It's a bigger board that's underneath that metal plate. Um, can't quite see it from the top, but you can see there's more circuitry there underneath the board, so there is more inside this machine than the cheaper model. Now here's the menu system on the 3313. Um, it's, it's very similar to the lower model. Uh, there isn't much difference other than the, the twin HDMI outputs. Um, but here you can set up whether you want the HDMI control on and off, whether you want it to have um, you go into any kind of energy saving modes, whether you want to update the firmware or not. There's a variety of different languages as well that you can set it to default to different languages on the menus, um, different subtitles whether you want those on or off. Uh, has some parental control ratings as well if you don't want certain discs to be played in it you can do that. Here are the network settings where you can set up 
um, a static IP address or just pick one up from your router. Uh, if you want to manually set it, you turn it to manual, the DHCP. There's a few other different um, different settings in there for different things, that this, the features that this has. You can have it work with an older Denon remote control because they've changed the codes for it. And you can also have more than one machine if you want it as well. This is the video setup here. Uh, you can set up uh, what's, whether you, what your TV resolution, whether you want it to be a blue screen or a black screen behind. Uh, what sort of settings you want for the HDMI going off to your amp and television. You can set whether you want it dual output or single. If you're not using the dual output, you're best just to set it, set it to single. Less chance of having any problems. Uh, you can adjust the screen size for 3D as well, which helps with uh, crosstalk. Here's where the audio output settings are. Uh, you, it defaults to bitstream, which is good. So it assumes you're using it with a HDMI output uh, to, to go to an amplifier, not to go to a television. Now here's the media streaming where it'll stream from a com you know, compatible DLNA uh, NAS drive or computer running DLNA. Uh, you can browse by folder if, you, if the, your, your NAS drive supports that. And it'll play back a variety of different files. Uh, we had it playing back um, 192 kilohertz uh, audio um, and FLAC files it, it can do as well. So it'll play back very high quality um, audio files, uh, but also does video as well. You can see here it doing some, uh, some FLAC. I think this is 88.2 kilohertz. It's a, it's a copy of some DSD material converted to PCM. One slight niggly thing about the menu is that it doesn't just, you can't just click, seem to click back. I don't know if, if they'll fix that in future firmware updates. You have to go out of the menu and back in again. I, I find that a little, a little bit irritating when you're just browsing for things. Once you start playing, it doesn't easily go back again. It'll also play straight uh, WAV WAV files if you are not don't want them encoded as FLAC. And um, again, it'll do up to 192 kilohertz, 24 bit. These are just 44.1. Uh, it's pretty quick as well, you know, depending on your DLNA, NAS drive or computer. It, 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 there's a small delay, but, uh, you know, does does start playing it pretty quick. So we go out now and we'll show you uh, videos. Um, it can play a, a wide range of different formats and it's an improvement last year that last year's model would do the same but it wouldn't do 24 frame so here, here we're going into this is a copy of a DVD and it will play the VOB files raw VOB files uh, direct directly um, it will play M2TS files that are copied straight from Blu-rays it'll play MKV it'll play MP4 uh, it play AVI sort of XVID vid files. We had it play in MPEG files as well. So it'll do a, a huge variety of different things. You can see this is an MP4 file, a copy of one of our videos. Plays back no problem straight away. And one of the other features this has got, and it has a direct button on the remote control, is YouTube. And so you can search and it'll do high definition uh, YouTube videos as well. You can search what you want to search for. If you've got a pretty good internet connection, you know, again, it's, it's fairly, fairly nippy. Starts up and starts streaming that from YouTube. So, you know, much better than having to look at it on a computer or hook a computer up to an amp. You can just have it uh, directly on this player. You have to have no noisy fans or anything if you've got a computer that's quite noisy. Um, you, you can just stream it like this and you can have so in theory you can have all your music and all your films all copied to a NAS drive and use this to just play it back and not have to use any discs at all uh, but then you've always got the option there of you know the high quality transport now that's what I'd say is one of the main you know pros of this uh, 
moving on to the pros and cons is that the, the, its ability to play lots of different media, I mean, we couldn't actually find anything apart from some uh, SACD DSD files that we copied. We couldn't find much it wouldn't play. Uh, I'm sure there's things out there, as there's always different new formats coming out and for audio and video, but all the ones that we had, everything we could throw at it, it would play back, and it would play them back accurately as well. That was the important thing. If it was a 24-frame film copied from Blu-ray, it played it back like that, which is what you want. You don't want it uh, converting it or changing it. Uh, the build quality is very good. It's a much improvement on last year's Denon models. The aluminium fascia looks very good. It's, it, you know, the, the tray inside is, is, is more like their more expensive players they used to have that were double the price of this machine. The Denon link's very good as well. It improves the sound quality for, for SACDs, for, true, for, for films, everything you, you put through. If you're partnering this up with one of their new generation of amps with it's got the Denon link HD, it's very, very good. Um, on the con side, uh, I, I would say uh, one of the things that I, uh, it's a shame it doesn't have analog uh, decoding output for people with very old amps. Although that's, you know, getting few and far between now, but it would be nice if it had a 7.1 or 5.1 audio output. It's also a shame that it doesn't have the ability with the networking to just browse a networked drive. It's, you know, frustrating that you have to be running DLNA, the DLNA that has to support all the things you want to share to it, which isn't always easy. Not all DLNA servers are the same. Um, so if you run into problems with this and you can't see it, can't see your media, it's not necessarily because this can't play it. It could be just that your DLNA server is not sh offering it up because um, it, not all of them do. quick way of, of, of resolving that is to see uh, whether or not it plays it off a USB stick, because if it can, then it's something to do with your DLNA server. Another pro on the other pro side is the Blu-ray and DVD multi-region. That is a brilliant thing. I've got a few discs myself, uh, a Blu-ray disc that are regionally coded, and I've got a huge selection of discs that are region one. And this is the first machine that Denon have sold that can be multi-region for, for Blu-ray very easily. And we supply that with full instructions on how to do that uh, when you buy it from us. So... It, it, that that's a really good thing as well if someone's got you know the sort of person who would buy this machine is going to have a, a good collection of films and, and want to also import them from the states where there's you know, more choice and things are sometimes out earlier as well uh, and different versions so yeah all, all around this is a very good machine the picture quality on it is is superb it's an improvement on last year's it's an improvement on the lower model the sound quality as well connects to an amp very good all around a very good machine that's the end of our review of the Denon DBT3313. If you'd like to see more video reviews, if you'd like to find out more information about this unit or purchase it, please visit our website, avland.co.uk. Thank you for watching.